Hello and welcome to Explosive Power, where we party with a bang, right? We party with a bang. So um, hello, I've survived all of my road trip. I made it back. I didn't even take the time to figure out how many miles I drove, but it was a lot. I went from here to Indiana, to Minnesota, back to Indiana, back to here. So woohoo! I was a little busy. So welcome again. We've got Mary Jo and we've got Dawn Walker. Is there anyone else that is a guest with us tonight? No. Okay, we got you down. It's time for that on time drawing. So we're going to get our random randomizer, I believe is what what it's called. I don't know what it's called, but it's a little spinny wheel that I can put in. We have 25 people with us tonight. That's exciting. Yay. All righty. We're going to get back and we're going to spin. We're going to spin and win, right? <laughs> We've got a number six. Let me see who number six is tonight. Uh, when I went over. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Don Myers. Woo! The Dawn's try actually show up both you and Don Walker right beside each Yay. other. Yay! It, it was number six, so that's yours, Don. 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 Don Myers. Yes. Congratulations. All righty. Well, and we'll we'll uh, do another one here a little bit later, but for right now, I want to share some scoop. So, you know, I had to show you my family. I mean, since I went to see them, I had to show them to you. So that is our son, Kevin, and he's like around, I don't know, 34, maybe. I, I should know his age, right? This is his <laughs> wife, Danielle, and my only grandchild, this is Miss Bailey. She'll be 11 this summer, so that's exciting. And this is my darling daughter, Megan, who is uh, 37, and she, she just had a birthday. Megan doesn't have birthdays. She doesn't have birth weeks. She has birth months. And this year... <laughs> She doesn't yes, know that there's a surprise coming to her in June. So it's going to be like a month and a half of Megan's birthday. <laughs> but she's great. She does a whole lot of different things. And uh, it was just so fun to see them. My heart was just having too much trouble going on without seeing my kids. So my heart's full. I'm happy. And um and we met at my favorite Mexican restaurant. Oh my gosh. And the people in there kept coming up and hugging on me. We went there like once a week, probably. They were hugging on me. They even give me, gave me a gift to bring back for Brian. Because <laughs> he wasn't <laughs> able to be with me. So that was kind of fun. So anyway, that's my story. Now, I want to remind you, tomorrow night, if you have any chance of being able to join us, please do so. We do have room. I know we have uh, Liz Manning is coming with me and also Kathleen. If I see it, I can say it. Aunt Traveris or something like that. Uh, she's coming up from Baltimore to this event. Dion Traveris. It's Dion Traveris. Dion Traveris. Oh yeah, I forgot the D part. Yeah. But you did good. Aunt Traveris. Yeah. I'm writing it down. So I have it for tomorrow night, right? Okay. Right. So at 6.30 tomorrow night, we are doing a guest event. So if you know of any guests in the area of Lancaster or, or from here to there that may be interested, go ahead and send them over at 6.30. Let me know. I'll be happy to take care of them. And then at 7.30, Hernan will be putting on a workshop. In case you don't know Hernan, he is our regional uh, what do they call them now? Regional sales directors, I think is their title now. Um, he will be putting on a workshop and this is really to help help us develop more and move up the Tupperware ladder. So this is open to all regions. However, he is our regional, uh, but also the To Be More out west, uh, the Blue Fire, which is kind of central US, the Imparable Unstoppable, which is the Spanish group, and then Northern Lights is Canada. They probably won't be coming down, but we're top notch and we are top notch. We are the best. So uh, if you could join me tomorrow night, I would love to have you there. Um, the other girls uh, have quite a few people coming. So I know, I know it's good information. I just wish I could just pick you all up and take you along with me. But if you can go, don't even worry about registering, just come. Send me a text and just come, right? Okay. <laughs> 
I did post some reminders for the week. I think uh, I know a couple people actually saw them, but I just sometimes we just have to remind ourselves slow progress is still progress. We may not be where we want to be, but progress is progress no matter how fast or slow. So keep moving forward. And this is a big one. And I think it's, I know it's not just me. I know a lot of us do this. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're doing great. I yelled at myself a couple times and my daughter said, stop yelling at my mom. She's a nice person. So I <laughs> guess she told me, huh? <laughs> I thought that was kind of fun. Um, choose people who choose you every single time. Who wants to be with you? Who wants to play in your sandbox? And you know what? They don't want to play in your sandbox. You probably don't need them in your life. So let them go. Better to make a mistake than to never have tried at all. I know you agree with that. Oh, right? I better to make, yes, they're all just, I love these. Okay, better. Uh, this is your daily reminder that you are amazing and you can do whatever it is you want to do when you put, you get your mindset, you get your heart set and you put one foot in front of the other, you're moving forward. Some days you're very productive, other days not so much. Be okay with that. Not all days need to be the same intensity and in my words um or the same insanity right <laughs> and the last one it's okay if everyone takes more time than you thought uh, than you thought it would if everything takes more time than you thought it would small steps are all the matter that's all that matters set one foot in front of the other and keep moving forward so i hope some of those resonated with you a little bit and maybe gave you an opportunity to to flick some junk off your shoulder and be able to move forward with your day because it's your day to make it great so um just some little word choices i ran across these and i thought this is kind of cool so some word choices friend who expressed interest in a facebook party hey girl i've been meaning to message you i know you wanted to try a facebook party Yay. When were you thinking? And then you can put in a couple of dates. Um, I wouldn't go this month or next month. I would give actually a couple dates, you know, a date close and a date a little further. And then um, also uh, just got some new stuff. You definitely need to have a party. You're just going to die. It's amazing. What are you doing next month? I want to get you set up. So we're going to talk about some of these in a little bit more, but I find if I just post them and I don't go over them with you guys, they really don't get looked at. So I thought, well, I'm going to share it with you and then I'm going to post it. So you have the words that you can print out or read off your phone or whatever you like. So here's a past guest customer who is too busy for a Facebook party at that time. So, hey, Sue girl, I know you've been crazy busy, right? Life is nuts. Listen, not sure if there's a better time, but busy ladies are loving these Facebook parties. Maybe you'd be interested in inviting a couple girlfriends for a 30-minute virtual party next week. Not next month, next week. Um, because Facebook parties are not, they don't take as long to put together. So just do it. Just set a date and just do it. Um, just checking in. I know last month was out of the question for your party because it was real life, but I'm giving away an extra $25 in free product for anyone who has a Facebook party in May. Giving you first dibs, haha, right? <laughs> So just some fun, simple little ways to approach. And then uh, the last one is about uh, booking a party, being a fantastic host. And whether it's in home, whether it's on Facebook, whether it's, I prefer Zoom because it's it's basically uh, one hour at the most, but it's half an hour. And I can interact with them. I can play a couple games. I can show them the product and boom, we're done. So whatever works for you and the people that you are interested in working with, there is a way for everybody. So here's another little grouping. This was um, when what to say when you're booking Facebook parties with past guest customers or friends. I love this because it's basically they didn't respond when you left a message about setting a date and uh, the host said maybe they wanted to host a party or maybe you thought they wanted to host a party. So here I love this example. The next day, don't message them. Two days later, don't message them. A week later, Hey, Joanne, this is Jan. I'm not stalking you. Well, maybe I am, <laughs> LOL. Um, if you've changed your mind about hosting a Tupperware party, no worries. But if you're still up for it, my dates are filling up. I have this date 
Tuesday or Thursday. Just let me know. I know life's crazy. And you just kind of give them a couple dates that you want to have a party in. And it, it, it's very, uh, it's very comfortable. It's very easy. Um, your first couple of times will be a little bit harder, but these are people that you knew or that you had spoken to in the past. And then also what to say to get a booking, a booking at home party. So I know most of you are not doing in home parties yet, uh, back at it, but some of you are. So, you know, play your dating game. What to say if you played one, what to say if you didn't. They checked yes on their survey. If you use a survey sheet at the parties, uh, some people do like a door prize slip that will have, uh, would you be willing to spend 15 minutes letting me tell you about what we have to offer? So, um, and so there's, there's some along that line and sometimes you're rebooking. So those are just some different word choices. And guys, I'm going to tell you, there's going to be a lot more coming because we have a national be tough aware month day, day. It's a day. <laughs> it's not a whole month. I'm sorry. I got the thirsties. Um, what you will do is on Saturday, June 8th, Open your calendar and write it in right now. Saturday, June 8th, I think it's June 8th, is <laughs> a is our TUP Awareness Day. What TUP Awareness Day means, um, what TUP Awareness means is we are getting out, and this is going to be all across the nation. So you might have people from other companies in your area. You're going to want to get out because they're going to be out. So we call this Be Tup Aware because it's getting us out of our, our zones and getting us out seeing people. And the whole concept behind this is talking to people and letting people know Tupperware is still around. I'm sure I'm not the only one that I've heard from people saying that, um, oh, I didn't know Tupperware is still around. I thought I read Tupperware went out of business. I thought I did. Yeah. So Tupperware is around. We are alive and well. And the best place, the best way for us to get additional people involved with us is by going out and letting them know. So whether you go to a park, whether you go to a um, McDonald's Playland, whether you go to the play area in the mall, I mean, there's always just walk in your neighborhood. Walking is good for us, right? So just walking in our neighborhood. So we're going to be talking a lot more about this, but a couple of things that you might want to think about. Um, we do, I think you might have seen already, we have a sheet that has 15 uses for the uh, citrus peeler. And half of the coupon is getting their contact information. The other half of the coupon are 15 uses for the citrus peeler. So you can always use a citrus peeler as a way to contact them. And I would recommend if you don't have a load of uh, of citrus peelers on hand. You might want to order some so that you can get them here in time to use them. It's June 8th, right? Um, some people do the t-shirts. We had uh, one year we had t-shirts and they were like this. They were black and black attracts heat. So I, I'm cool if you want to get it. And there's, I got logos I can share. I've got iron-ons I can share, um, but don't get black because it's very hot when the sun's out and you're wearing black. Um, but there, you can get a t-shirt. There are t-shirts available through Vistaprint as well. I think they're a little bit on the expensive side, but it's a personal choice. Um, we've got some, some social media things that are going to be coming to help us, uh, get the information out. And depending on the size of your community, whether you are, um, able to like, even do like a scavenger hunt type thing or a way to plant a package somewhere and then give tips, give hints on your Facebook group. And then they have to find that whoever finds it first is the winner, of course, and they get to keep it. So that's kind of fun. So we're going to be talking about a lot more things that go along with it and what type of coupons we actually want to use or door price slips or whatever. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more. You might also remember I shared uh, this one that I made not too long ago, just where if I'm out and about seeing people, I want them to have a reason to contact me. So I kind of look at these as bounce back coupons. Anytime I'm talking to someone, I can hand them uh, one of these coupons without issue. And it's, you know, they get, uh, what is it? They get order a minimum of $50 and they get 10% off, 20% uh, off. 
and 25% off. So they're choices. You don't have to use those numbers. They're just something that I put together because I knew I would be seeing people as I traveled. And I really did want to just make sure I had a way to reach out to them and them to be able to follow up with me as well. Then the other thing, um, staple your ticket. Okay, so here's another one. This is called a golden ticket. Okay, so what we used to do with this was we used to take the golden ticket, we copied it on gold paper, and then we cut them. And I think there were three or four to a page. And we put them in our invitations. And we challenged the host to contact her guests. That, that way you make sure they are personally inviting. You contact the host to um, to uh, to contact her guest to find out who has the golden ticket. So if the host has the golden ticket, or if the host finds out who has the golden ticket before the party, they get an extra gift. And the person that has the golden ticket gets an extra gift when they show up at the party. So it's a way to help you have your host really make that communication with her guests. Also, it's a way to get one more guest to come because they got the golden ticket and they probably want to know what it's for. So you can use it in any way you want. But I'm just going to say, I'm going to encourage you to keep it simple, keep it uh, very easy. It doesn't have to be big and fancy. And, um, and then the other thing is, if you're just going to use a single coupon of some type, um, then you might want to take your roll of tickets. You know, you can get your roll of tickets and staple a ticket to your coupon before you hand it out. Then they're going to give you their contact information because you've got to match the ticket to a person, right? It's when you do your drawing. So you're going to get their contact information because they might be the winner. So if you get the rolls that have the two columns, you take one side and that's what you're going to take just that one ticket on each coupon. And then you've got all the other ones. Those are the ones you tear apart and do your drawing from. And that way you match the number to the person. And you might want to set it up again, something in your VIP group or do something fun with it. Just be thinking about some ideas so that when Tup Awareness comes around, you are ready to get out your own front door and make things happen. Sound good? Yes. All right. And so I know you, most of you saw these pictures already, but I wanted to kind of bring these up just to talk about the value. The value of posting pictures and food items like this. Um, you know, everybody's looking at it, trying to figure out what they are. And it's just, it looks so appealing. And I know you agree with me. It's so appealing. I just want to take a bite out of that taco pizza or, <laughs> or the crab dip, right? So when you're, when you're, Taking some pictures or you're working with a new recipe, think about making some cute little collages and things that you can share in your Facebook group because this kind of thing is really easy. I also, um, I typically use PowerPoint. I know I can use Canva and I use Canva a little bit, but I typically use my PowerPoint application to make any of these kinds of things because I like having a little bit more, well, I know how to use it. Okay, that's enough said. But anyway, this is kind of fun and it kind of gives you, a, it's, it's appealing. Now tell me your thoughts on this next one. What do you think about that? Food uh, smart time. That's what you think about when you see that? Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Pretty smart. Save money. Good, good. You know what I see when I first look at this? Refrigerator. I look at this and I think about the beautiful colors that are yes. all there because yes. the vitamins and nutrients remain in the food. So the color is still fully there. And when we can help people keep their fruits and vegetables fresh longer, there's more vitamins and nutrients that go back to the family, right? They go back yeah. to the people that you care about most that are eating the food in your home. So they always say, you know, eat the rainbow because that's what's good for you, right? So just giving you an idea here, again, this would be something that um, you could share your own Fridge Smart photos. You can share your Fridge Smart photos maybe when you're um, doing a survey with a person. I'll show you that in just a second. Um, but we're really looking for more people. I, I want to see lots of personal Fridge Smart. 
in your hand at the farmer's market, at the, the uh, produce section in the grocery store, as you're out and about, let's be carrying a fridge smart with us. Years ago, we had a mini kit and it was a mini kit bag and it had one of the uh, fridge smart minis in it. It also had our supersonic compact chopper in it. It just had some of the small pieces, but it was enough, five pieces, that we could talk to people about the whole product line from that one piece. And just in case you don't know, two minis equal a small, two smalls equal a medium, just to kind of help you out with that a little bit, okay? Um, and you might not have known that, or maybe you do, but that's kind of how it works. It's it's similar to some of our other lines. Um, what's different with the Fridge Smart line is the medium, it does not... The large does not hold two mediums. The extra large holds two mediums. Okay, let me see if I can get rid of this for a minute. And can you see, am I big on the screen? Yep. Okay. You're good. You're so good. what I got here, we've got our mini. This is our little guy. And and um, just for dating a party or holding a party, a host can get a set of two of these. They are exclusive for host only. Then we go a little bit further. And we have some of our other Fridge Smart containers. So I'm sure you already saw the sampling, but these are a couple. And what I have in here are fake strawberries. You can pick them up at like Walmart or Joann's or different people have them. And, um, and you can probably get them on Amazon too. I don't know. But these are fake, but it makes them look much more appealing when we've got some type of food in it. And then here we have our mediums and the difference between a medium shallow and a medium deep is if I stack two mediums on top of each other, they are the same height as the deep. So two shallows equal one deep. The other thing that you might wanna know, I have made the switch. Instead of keeping my strawberries here, I now keep my strawberries in here uh -huh. because I found out that them sitting on top of each other is like I did in their own juices. And the purpose of this is to keep our fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. up out of their own juices, right? So yep. we're putting our strawberries in here on top of each other. We're kind of damaging them and enough. causing them to spoil a little more quickly. So a single layer, and I don't know if it matters or not, but I always put them in with the green part down. So they're easy for me to grab out. Um, so that's, that's enough. And then you're also going to have the large, the large. See, this large is huge. Well, the rect, let me show you the medium on top of the large. Let me line them up. And you've got about that much room left over. So in this case, two mediums don't make the large. But you can see this is nice and big. And people can mix and match different fruits and vegetables as long as they're in the same breathing range. And the flavors do not mix. So that is a great deal. And then here's the Whopper. <laughs> this is the extra large. Is that big or is that big? It is really big. But That's if huge. I put two mediums on here beside each other, they equal the size of an extra large. And of course, you can easily see that it's deep. The large one and the extra large one are both deep. So it gives you an opportunity to be able to talk about them with confidence on what sizes when they go, well, how big's that extra large? So this gives you a little bit more of an idea, right? So I just wanted to share those with you because I thought it was important for you to see a few more pieces. And also, um, if you're doing Facebook parties, I'm not sure how this works, but if you're doing in-home or something live, did you notice I have a few goodies in here? So things, I've got it. My Fridge Smart recruiting box. See that right? Well, that's the first design of the Fridge Smart. I made a smart choice when I joined Tupperware. I've had the opportunity to earn free trips. I lost my car. My car is not there right now, but I or I drive a free <laughs> car um, to get as many of these tiny little bowls that Tupperware makes as I want, because as a Tupperware consultant, I can get those. <laughs> Ooh, and sometimes we get spoiled with nice gifts like jewelry. 
Sometimes we get nice gifts. See, this was in my fridge smart. These are the kind of greens I like. This is $150, which is what you'll make off an average party right now, or $125, might be $125, but it's a lot. And I've taped them all end to end, and I did this just so I could share this with you. Also, we make 25% of everything we sell. We also get 25% off our purchases and 35 off of samples. And you're going to be smiling all the way to the bank. And you're not going to have to worry about getting a pink slip because you are the <laughs> only one that can hire and fire you. And I have hired and fired myself more times than I can count. But you Love know what? It. We're still here and we're still moving forward, right? Yes. So that's just kind of another fun thing. And there's there's several other things that you can, um, you know, pick up and use for that. So let me go back to my screen share and getting you back on board. So I'm encouraging you to take pictures and to post them, take pictures and, and write things around them. See, um, I also put here a survey. Now, this is another easy way to connect with people that you don't know. It, I did this I did this in parking lots my first three or four years. I mean, I had no I would even go out with other people or I would go by myself. Um, these days, I would encourage you to go with a buddy, but nonetheless, um, you know, you've got your little clipboard and you've got your little survey sheet there. And hi, my name's Jan McDonough, and I'm doing a survey for Tupperware. Are you familiar with Tupperware products or Tupperware brands or however you feel comfortable saying that? I can offer you a discount coupon if you would allow me to ask you just a few questions. Now, that's pretty easy, right? Yes, I want to see some yeses going on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's so simple. So you're going to put the date. This is if you're doing it as a party. So if you're not doing it as a party, you can just cross that off. So how often do you purchase fresh fruit and vegetables? One week, two to five times a week, daily, never. Uh, which do you purchase more of? Fruits, vegetables, or equal? How, how do you usually store your fruits and vegetables? Original packaging, refrigerator drawer, plastic bags, or other? Do your fruits and vegetables ever spoil before you get a chance to eat them? Always, sometimes, never. Um, see, what size fridge smart container do you feel you would get the most use from? That's if you have them all there and you can show all of them. You, of course, can show them a picture, but it's not going to be quite as easy. Um, but you can give them an idea. And then does, does uh, this product interest you at regular price, half price, on sale, or free? <laughs> That's an eye-opening question, isn't it? Yes. All right. Uh, then what, when is the last time you attended a Tupperware party? That's a good one. Under six months, six to 12 months, over a year or never. They could be a Tupperware version. <gasps> Tupperware versions <laughs> always get a piece of Tupperware from me, you know. Um, okay, and then please add me to your monthly email newsletter and they can check off what they want. Sales specials, special host offers, fundraiser, new products, um, income opportunities, or uh, Tupper Connect, which we really just call it an online party. So those are, and then you get their name, their phone, and their email, and you nicely just give them. Now, when you hand them the coupon, this is when I go that one extra step. This coupon is valid only through me. My name, phone number, and website are on the coupon. Uh, the discount cannot be given with my website, so you need to contact me to redeem. I can also answer any questions you might have. So that's pretty easy, right? I like it. It's a way to get us out of our own door and get out and talk to people, reach out to new people, and you're just doing a survey. So you're making it as easy as you can. Now, then once you have, once you've done that and you have all of the surveys, then you're going to want to set a time within the next couple of days to do follow-up calls. 
and talk to them a little bit more about the things that they answered, moving them toward, you know, did you tell any of your friends that you ran into the Tupperware lady in the parking lot? Well, I would love nothing more than to get together or then to do a Facebook party or whatever. So whatever kind of party you're comfortable with, that's when you're going to offer it, mostly when you do the follow-up call. Now, you will have some people that'll be like, I want, I want a party. I want a party. I want a party right now. Well, of course, you can set them up right now, depending on if it's in home or on Facebook, how much time you're going to give to it. But just wanted to get you thinking, you know, with Tupperware Day coming up, I mean, it kind of makes sense to even grab a survey. And I have survey forms in there for the supersonic compact chopper. There's survey forms for the steam or for the uh, stat cooker. There's survey forms for the pressure cooker. There's survey forms for everything in there, guys. So um, this is just one example because I you probably saw June already, right? You guys saw the June samples? Yes. yes. So you know what's coming. So you can gear up for that just a little bit more. Now, on top of that, we've got a special flyer that you'll also be able to have this with you. And this is the uh, Summer Sunset Servalier 13-piece set. So I know we have people that love servaliers. And then uh, they get a free gift, which is a Fridge Smart Small, when they are spending 119 or more. So you can look at the different configurations of the different products that you see here, and then they all qualify to get that gift, which is a free Fridge Smart Small. But this is a way that allows you to add up and multiply what you're earning by adding different pieces or changing different pieces, depending on the people that you are working with. So... Here's my picture again. I just love that picture. Um, share your Fridge Smart photos with food or the person that you're doing a Fridge Smart survey with. And you want to get those posted in our public group so that more people are seeing the Fridge Smart. They're seeing you talk to people about Fridge Smart, and that can attract a lot more attention. So I am going to take everyone that shares pictures talking to people about the Fridge Smart or food in your own Fridge Smart. And as you're posting those, everybody that posts a picture will be in a drawing and I'm giving away a four piece set, brand new, not even out of the package, four piece set, absolutely free. All you gotta wow. do is talk to people about your Fridge Smart. Can you wow. do that? Yes, absolutely. That's $121 value, I think. Absolutely. Yes. Brian might shoot me, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm giving away <laughs> more that. Okay. Now it is time for the explosive power uh, boom, the weekly boom. And I did want to let you know that explosive power as a company, we were number 22 in the nation in sales. And we were number 30 in the nation in recruiting. Woo! And the McD team landed number nine in director team sales. So that was fun too. So those are just a few goodies. I'm going to take a drink and I'm going to do your recognition next. All righty. We are recognizing our top 20 consultants in or our top 20 people. Consultants, managers, and directors um, in personal sales. So number 20, we have Joe Ellis Sullivan. Yeah, $313. Number 19, we have Lori King, $314. Number Yay. 18 is Michael Myers, $315. Yay. You couldn't plan that, right? 313, 314, 315. I just thought that was funny. <laughs> um, number 17, Kathy Schaffer with 334. And number 16, Judy Alejandro with 346. Now, in the number 15 position, we have Tammy Lotz with 362. Next, we have Water Chen with 370. Number 13 is Tina Miller and the Tipper Smarty. No, it's just Tina Miller. It's personal. $390. Woohoo! Number two, Noel Stidham with 391. Woohoo! Number 11, Shanna Colley with 411. Woohoo! Moving on up, moving on up. And number 10, Barbara Bay. She's with us tonight. Way to go, Barbara. $507. Yes. 
Number nine is Tammy Salazar with 605. Next, we have in the number eight position, Sherry Grell. Sherry had $644. In the number seven position, we have Diane Howard. And she had $668. Way to go, Diane. And number six, she's with us tonight. It is Patty Cress, $679. Woohoo! And now we're moving on up to the top five. In the number five position, we have Johnny Payne with $778. Woohoo! In the number four position, we have Donna Thompson with $938. Woohoo! Number three position is Leslie Pauline with 1,022. Wow. And in the number two position, our very own Queenie Chan, 1,443. And number one was Shuan Liang from uh, California, $3,346. Wow. Oh. It was a great week. Congratulations. Now we're going to recognize our top in unit sales or team sales. In the number 14 position, we have Tupperlicious, $367, led by Annalise Goodell. Number 13, we have the Lucky Shamrocks for $371, led by Chantel Collis. Number 12, the Thriving Tuppers, led by Angel Dalton, 382. Number 11, that is Dawn Myers, and she's leading the headliners, $597. Woohoo! Woo. Congratulations. Now we're down to the top 10. Number 10, Sealed with Love, led by Tina Wolf, $628. Number 9, Tammy Salazar, Taste of Tupper Heaven, and that's 656. Number eight, we've got those Tupper Smarties, led by Tina Miller, $717. Woohoo! Number seven, those jalapeno Tuppers, led by Judy Alejandro, $1,009. Woo, good week. Mm -hmm. Number six, we have the sign of success, led by Diane Howard at $1,065. Woohoo! And that concludes up through number six. Now we're going to go for our top five. In the number five position, we have Valerie Smith and the Dazzlers. They dazzled their way up to number five with $1,439. Woohoo! Yeah. In the number four position, we have our unexpected miracles. They are led by Patty Cress. $1,484. Woohoo! Way to go. Yeah, Number great job. Is Shuang Liang, who is uh, a manager with Tupper Grace, is the name of her unit. $3,716. Woohoo! Number two is Tupper Joy, led by Queenie Chan. $5,197. Wow. Wow. Whoa. And number one, the McD team, 14,771. Yay. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yes, I right. love it. Congratulations, everyone. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh. Anita. I got it. I got it. I know it's coming. Jubilee's right around the corner. I get it. Okay, welcome to the team. We want to welcome Tanya Heath. She came in with Patty Cress. Congratulations. We have Janet, who actually goes by Michelle Heath, and she was brought in by Brandy McGee. The next one is Alicia Ayaski. I am not good at names. Um, but Alicia, we're so glad, and thank you, Diane Howard, for sharing her with us. Woohoo! And while I was in Indiana, I had to sign up Justin Reed because he was trying to sell Tupperware to me. And I said, if you want to sell Tupperware, then you need to. <laughs> <laughs> then you need to sign up. So he did. Um, so these are these are the new team members for week 20. Um, so there may be more that have come in since then, but they will be in week 21. We'll pick them up next time. So these are the new reps for week 20. And then Explosive Power, week 20, our company as a whole, 19,968. And that's what landed us up there at what? Number 22, I think. Uh, month to date for the month of May, we are at 86,804. We're 
we're we're behind. Um, so whatever we can do this week to pick it up a little, that's going to be important because we've got some goals to make and goals to achieve. And then, of course, year to date, four hundred ninety-one thousand, almost a half a million dollars. Yay! Yeah. So good job, folks. Good job. Congratulations yeah. to each and every one of you. We yes, are so proud. And then we have some national recognition. I got to add it in. Xuan Liang, number 18 consultant in personal sales. Why is she a consultant there and why is she a manager in the other? I will investigate. Uh, number four in manager personal sales. I got to check that out. Number 27, Quinny Chan, number 27, director in personal sales. And Leslie Pauline, mm -hmm. number 92 in consultant personal sales. So there oh, you go. I will check out Shuang Liang, uh, but congratulations. National recognition is always yeah. fun, right? All right. Oh, and you know what? I ran across this. I was going through some files and I just had to share this with you. Okay. This is from a long time ago. What did I say? 1994. Okay. So I was maybe three, four years in the business. Um, this was my biggest week ever, $10,463. Now I will share with you back then, our week was like 10 days because we always started a little early and we always ended it a little late because the distributor keyed all of our orders so we could make our week 10 days. <laughs> so that is truly 10 days, not seven days. But it's pretty exciting nonetheless. So exci and my yeah. friend Stu beat me by less than $100. And she got her name on the wall and I didn't. One more party would have made the difference. Darn it anyway. Right. And that's the power of the party, right? One more party. Um, but I did 16 parties that week. And at that time, we weren't allowed to even say the word book party, catalog party, any of that. They were all supposed to be in home. But of course, you do what you got to do to bring in sales. So we had some yeah. of those where everybody brought got orders and they brought them together. And then we divided up the host gifts. We also did some where we, we did do the catalog parties and so on and so forth. Um, so a lot of different ways to do the business, uh, just getting to that number that you want to be at. So I'm just going to ask, and you don't need to answer. I just want you to think about are you where you want to be for the month of May or do you need to go step it up a notch to get closer to the goal that you said you wanted to be at? Sometimes it's just us ramping ourselves back up. And, um, and I'll shoot myself forever for missing last week if that's what makes the difference. So let's get out there and meet some more people and talk to some more and see what we can do to build some more. Oh my gosh, it'll be a happy burger day. It is May 28th. Um, but they are actually kind of calling this National Burger Month. Month. Um, yeah, I don't get all that. But anyway, it's a way to celebrate. Let's celebrate some more. So, you know, we've got the mandolin. Have you ever gone on and and done a Facebook Live showing how the mandolin works, showing yeah. all the different cuts and chops that it will do? It does eight different cuts. Eight. That's huge. We have a fix and mix bowl for 20 bucks. They got to mix up their stuff or that's maybe for their salad. We've got a season serve for 21. People do get confused. The season serve and the hot dog keeper because of the little bumps in the hot dog keeper. They think that's the marinator, but it's not. It's the hot dog keeper. So even if they're frozen, you can easily pull them apart. And then, of course, we have the Piccadilly, which is the eight and a half cup size um, for only $15. So that this is a fun little thing to kind of just amp it up a little bit. Think about the people that maybe bought your small, um, your small Piccadilly. Now maybe they want to get a bigger one. That would be somebody you can reach out to. Uh, people that you know have little kids, so they do things like hot dogs. People that like to be fancy when they entertain. You want to talk to them about the mandolin. So think about the different products and what they do. And who do you know that could relate? Who do you know that would maybe be interested in that type of a product? Then reach out and talk to them. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. You know, there was a song like that. Anyway, all right. Now we're moving in our, our uh, what was this called? The family movie night popcorn set with yeah. all of the stuff with it. That's a lot of pieces, guys. Have some of you gotten yours in? Yes. Has anybody gotten it out and used it yet? I love it. 
I love Look making it. popcorn. It is a lot of pieces. It's awesome. It was the best, I got to say, host reward. Plus, we get the voucher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good I'm deal. Barbara, what mine. did you like about it? I like the popcorn maker. Yeah. I like the wow. And I like the salt and pepper and the spice shakers. Awesome. Woohoo. And, Val, what did you like about this party set? I actually like the tumblers. <laughs> really? Oh, the goodies. Yeah, I love those tumblers. We use somebody tumblers. told me they're right on and wipe off. They are. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I didn't even well, realize cool. that. Yes. So those, so those are the, the big 30 ounce tumblers, the right? Big tumblers. Yes, they're big. Yes, they are. 30 ounce tumblers. We used to sell those guys. They were called the mega tumblers. I no, not the mega. Well, the thirst quakes. These were yes. These were called thirst quakes. Yeah, yeah, they were thirty ounce. Yeah, for sure. And see, and my favorite part of the whole set are the bowls. These blue bowls mm. because on the inside they have that vibrant aqua mm. color that I just love. Okay, well, let me just share with you. As of this month, Patty Cress has already qualified for her set, and we have a few more people close. Sheila Quigley's at 194, Anita Freeman, 181, Rachel Solfus, uh, she needs 350, uh, Esther King, 350, Alicia Crisp, 22, and Vanessa Ferguson, uh, she needs her 350. So let me share with you that not everybody started at the same time. So we have different people that started at different times. So what you see here on this list is uh, the grouping of the people that started in April and then they did May and then they'll do June. So you can look for your name there. And then, oh, and this is the same one. And then I've got another sheet with a little more information for you on that. So anyone that's highlighted in yellow, they need a little bit more to get where they need to be this month, right? They need just a little bit more. And then those in green are already two months qualified. So they just got a little further to go. So that's kind of exciting. Beth, did you have a question? I did. I was able to order mine this last week, but is it, did I dream it or is are they on backlog right now? Um, so they what? said they sent me everything else that I ordered that day, but but that. But what? I, but the that's that? in a separate box. It okay. is in a separate box of its own, and it got shipped okay. separate from the other things. Okay. Oh, well, you're talking I didn't... about the the movie set. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that is typically shipped in a different box. So it will come, it may not come at the same time as your other items. Okay, but they're not back ordered or nothing right yet? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I haven't okay. I haven't looked into that since I've been back. Um, okay. So did you call customer care or look at the- No, I, I thought alert? I, dr I, I must have dreamt it, Well, you can honestly. also look at the product alert list. And I think I showed you guys where you can see the- uh, upcoming awards in the back office so that's right, your best place to get that kind of information that's yes. not stuff that they send to us to to share okay okay thank okay. you no problem don walker do you have a question you'll need to come off of mute i see your hand up yeah how do we earn that set you Is earn that nice? set oh my goodness what a great question don <laughs> you do $250 three months in a row, and you get a really nice award. So we had one in the fall, uh, toward the end of the year, October, November, December, and that one was for a cast iron skillet, but it's new, it's coated, it's very different, and it's Tupperware. Then the next one, January, February, March, was this set, and whatever month you start in with your 250 is the award you'll go for. So I missed February, so I started back over in March. So now I'm working March, April, May. Then once that's out of the way, then starting in June, I can work on the current offer, which is a cast iron stockpot yes. with a cover. And that cover fits the skillet that we already earned. So it's oh, 253 awesome. months in a row. And okay. And that's whatever easy. the gift is, it's yours. Awesome. Okay. So we do have that personal tracker. We also have the downline tracker. And then this is the one, once you have completed the other one, 
once you have completed the the uh, popcorn party or whatever, once uh -huh. that ends, then the next, like I said, May is my last month. Then in June, I start on this uh, ceramic pot. And this one does have a $30 copay, but it's valued at $336. So that's okay, right? Uh -huh. yes, I'm just going to add that skillet is well worth it. So yes, heck yes. I earned the skillet and I... I'm earning that. So <laughs> I love that skillet. And it it really is the first month you start. So if you just come into the business right now in May, then May would be your first month. You want to have 250 in May. Then you want to have 250 or more in June and 250 or more in July. And you get that stock pot for 30 bucks. So hopefully that helped you, Don, with a little bit, uh, Don Walker, with yes. understanding how that works. Yes, yes, it did. However, okay. I would have loved that popcorn because I'm addicted to popcorn. Yeah, me too. I get that. <laughs> <laughs> and the season shakers. My, I have, I'm, I think I have four sets of them. Oh, wow. I love them. Or more. I, I, that's all nice. I use. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Well, you know, you never know when they'll have some left over and they put them out for a challenge or a sales special. We never know. It's a lot of surprises in today's Tupperware world. <laughs> so I did go ahead and did a little tracking, thought I'd throw it up here. I will, of course, post it so that you can more easily look for your name. But again, looking at the ones in yellow are the people that just need a little bit, just a little bit to get their, uh, their month qualified for the month of May. These are all people's, May is your first month. So anybody that just started, uh, May is your first month. So you'll want 250 this month. Then you'll want it in June and you'll want it again in July. So just kind of giving you an idea who's where toward uh, starting in May. Some of you probably started, I would say most of you probably started in April and May is your second month. Um, but we do have a lot here starting in May as well. So I will, of course, print the post this up so you can see it a little easier than just on your little screen there. But just kind of acknowledging the people in green have already achieved it for the month and the people in yellow have just a teeny bit to go. And then, of course, the red numbers are what they need to be a part of the May offer. And I just want to give a little boost up to some of our leaders working on moving on up. And that is Patty Kress up to star manager. And last I looked, she was this far away. So way to go. <laughs> and then we have Don Myers working on moving up and Tammy Salazar is working on moving up. And then we've got some people looking at our manager opportunity because we know that allows two additional streams of income when you move to manager. So that is Beth Knoll, Barbara Bay, Shanna Colley, Kathleen Schleiger, or Kathleen, where'd my note go? Dion Traveris, <laughs> Ray Johnson, <laughs> Teresa Christian, Brenda Rucarelli, Tammy Von Gorder, and Nicole Strubar. They are all working to step it up a level into those extra streams of income and leadership. And then we've got our host offers. Guys, don't forget, we still have the canister set that they can get for only $350 in, in sales and two bookings. That's a breeze. There's got to be more people we can reach out to and help. We want to help more people earn that canister set. So you can just say, my business leader said we need more people to earn the canister set. So can I help you earn it? Right? Why not? <laughs> it's all <laughs> about your word choices. It's all about, yeah. fun. it's all about making it happen. We also at the 500 level, as you know, we have the uh, exclusive red and stack cooker. And of course we also have our, uh, what's that called? The picnic basket, the picnic basket host gift special is also available. Then here we've got another host bonus at 750 and two datings. We have the ultra pro two quart square pan that may show back order, but I know that they got more in. So if they haven't already shipped them out, they are now. And oh, then, oh, and then here's our picnic set. So I just wanted to make sure you saw that too. Um, really nice containers. Those big wanders are actually almost three cups. 
the little wanders, which are the little ones down here, they're the same, they hold the same capacity as a snack cup, except they're squishy. They're, sh they're, sh <laughs> they're shorter. <laughs> they're bigger around and they're shorter, but they're both four ounce, uh, half cup. So uh, that's those, and then at the utensils, I used the utensils while I was driving. I made myself, I took our little jars that we had a while back and I made myself yogurt parfaits. So that's what I ate. I even shared a little with bonsai. Uh, just no. to let you know, he liked it. <laughs> not with the fruit, just the plain yogurt part he liked. But anyway, uh -huh. okay. And then we're here. We are in May. It is simply simply summertime. And guys, we have those keep tabs. And here's the deal: they made a lot, a lot of keep tabs. Oh, wow. So when I went on, I don't even think I have them here to show you, but oh yeah, I do have a couple of them. When I went on my little trip, I filled them all with different things. So as I went in to get like my uh, my thing to plug in my phone, I had to get one of these out. As I went in to get my pen and notepad, I had to open this one. Um, when I needed my headset, I had to open this one. And this one also has some of the slim silicone bags in it. So I could tell people about those at the same time. So use your, if you got the key caps, use them. We want to encourage people to take advantage of the set of four, three sets of four, so that they have plenty of keep tabs. Um, and here's what happens, guys. I'm going to just be straight with you. Is that okay? Sure, Everybody okay, I, I give it. I, I'm a straight Absolutely. shooter. This is it. If we don't move some of those, we will have them again and again yes. and again. So let's help sell the keep tab, right? <laughs> All right. I knew you'd. I knew you'd understand. All righty. Then we also have exclusive for May hosts. Of course, they get the cut and serve as the Dayton or Dayton hold gift. And then when their party gets to two hundred, they get to pick one of those four products as their thank you gift. Then we move on down to how they get their host credit in the different ranges. And remember, a thousand dollar party gets double host credit. So instead of a two hundred dollar shopping spree, it's a four hundred dollar shopping spree. OK, and then all the other things that I just showed you, the 350 party, uh, the picnic basket, the red stack cooker and, of course, the ultra pro pan. Can't wait to get my and this is our March flyer. Um, this also has me uh, just kind of hit me. Uh, oh, yeah, you got to remember to tell them that, too. Um, I found out that starting, I think it's July, this is going to be what we have for our flyer. They are no longer going to produce the brochures. Okay. Right? They feel wow. that since most of our business is online, we're fine with the one page. So it will be front and back. Um, and that won't be till July, but that's what I understand is coming. Um, and as I look at these, also a reminder, the uh, surprise packs, they can get the storage surprise pack, the serving surprise pack, oh. and the on-the-go surprise pack. So if anyone got the on-the-go surprise pack, if you could just uh, send me a quick message, not now, but, you know, send an email or text me or whatever, what came in your on-the-go surprise packs. I have a, a customer that lives fairly close and she wants one, and I'm sure I have stuff that I could make it with. I just don't know what came in them. So if you earned the on-the-go, please let me know. Um, but, oh, and this little 11-piece set, guys. This, we should be talking to people who's got a birthday coming up. How many kids do you know that have a birthday in the summertime or so between cute. now and Christmas? Or maybe they need it for a holiday gift. I mean, when mm. we've got not just the beverage set, not just the baking set, but it's all together, all the all 11 pieces for only uh, 20 bucks, that is a really awesome setup. And then, of course, the dining trays, there's people that collect those. So think about if you go through any of your slips, like from being at past vendor events and things like that, you probably have customers that wanted the dining tray um, or something, wanted uh, to get some more. I've created um, a little wish list form. And I'm going to post this for you guys. If you don't already have a system to keep track of those, it's what date did you talk to them, their name, their email or phone, and then what product it is. And then to follow up for you, what their contact info, have I contacted them and have I ordered them? 
So it's just a way for you to follow up with your customers. And so I will put that up there so that you you legitimately have a wish list for things that people want that are not currently available. Make sense? For maintenance. Hey, okay. All righty. And then, of course, we've got the whole grill stuff going on, right? It's right. time to get that grill making. So, there is anything from your hamburger press to your keeper set, your small piccadillies, you've got your quick shake containers, and you've got your season serve there again. And those were on the other flyer, but this kind of just separates the colors are pretty separated like this. You know, everything is the pinks and yellows and purples and then all the red. So um, that is a lot. And then I want to remind you that uh, Brian will be doing his monthly recognition. Now we've got another week that's just May. And sometimes we're like, oh, when's May going to be over? Guys, this is your month to give yourself a bonus. You've got a whole extra week you get to work in May. It's a five-week month instead of a four-week month. You've got a whole extra week. So keep working on getting that, getting to 250, getting to 500, getting to 1,000. And we've got lots of awards that you're earning this month as well. And I just realized I forgot to share with you some other things that I got out to show. <laughs> These are the cutest darn thing I have ever seen. I don't recall ever having these before. Anybody? No. I don't recall ever. It is too them. cute. I got oh. mine today and it is cute. They oh my really gosh, cute. it's they so are. doggone cute. I just think I'm they're in... adorable. And I believe this is for a host with is it 350? I think that's... I'm in love with these these little mini bowls. How many of you have the wish list that has people that want the strainer? Right? Uh, um, yeah. in the two court yay yes. think about how many Fine. people you can make white. Happy. i use it all the time you can make so many people happy with those yeah i got mine today got along with the little miniature bowls oh how cute so this is your whole bowl set aren't they pretty? yeah oh i love yeah. that the colors those colors so nicely the really and pretty colors, colors we have mm -hmm. the 20 ounce and the 10 ounce, and they all have what I call the accordion seal. Tupperware calls them an instant seal, but these are the ones you press in the center. And um, one thing I would encourage you with these is if you're showing them how the seal works, because you want to let your customers know how they work, find something hard to set it down on, a counter, a picnic table, a, a something hard to set it on before you push down, because that would make it a lot... It, it is easy to do, but if you're not on a hard surface, it's not. So you want to make it look as easy as it is. So make sure you're doing it on a hard surface. So you get four, one of each color in the 10 ounce and one of each color in the 20 ounce. And then, of course, the whole set, which people I love that pink. go crazy for when they see it. Yeah. And your Dayton home for the, uh, for the month of June will be oh. our little baby cereal bowls that's what i got oh, right I here they're so them. cute they're little so baby cute. cereal bowls now what are, we're gonna have to do some brainstorming next week yeah. what are we gonna use them for so we'll the talk about set. that next Long week ago. and we'll share some ideas for the it. little kid set yeah Ice they're so cream toppings <laughs> Kittens. Next week, next week. Bring your ideas yes. next week. Okay. Maybe I'll make okay. a post and let you add to it there. Um, okay. But th these don't start for a couple weeks, guys. So I'm bringing you back to May. I'm sorry I did that one last because I didn't mean to. But bringing you back to May. We've got some really great things going on right now. We we have all of those keep tabs. We have that beautiful colors. How many of you have shown the ice cream keeper to people? That round ice cream keeper, you want to make sure that people know that that's available. They can just tear the cardboard off the one they got at the store and plop that right in it. It works great. So think about what you've got right now and please um, come together, reach some more people, help some more people see that Tupperware is alive and well and help more people know that we are here and we want to help them get some free products. However, we can do that. We're giving away more of our our keep tabs or we're giving away more of our stack cookers or however you want to word it, but get the message out that we are still here alive and well. I actually, I actually had somebody stop me in the car. 
um, polish Tupperware. Is this leftover from when they had them before? No, you know, people are different. Okay, so it is time to do a drawing. Where are we at? 27 people. Let me scroll up here and let me change my randomizer. Da, da, da. Settings, we are at 27. That's 27. beautiful. Okay, I want to know who wants to win? Me. I do. I do. I do. Pick me, pick me. me, 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 me. Here we go. Spin. Da, 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 da. And Thanks. we have a number 17. Number 17. Let me pull up my little list. Okay. One, two, three, four, six. Scroll. Seventeen? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's an omen. What? Mary Jo Christ, you are our winner. Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. Hey, yeah. okay, way to go. Well, you thank you. Thank you. My goodness. Oh, I, girl. Need, I, must have, I must need to sign up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. 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 Congratulations. It's kind of a given that we're going to bring you, you on board with us. So I am <laughs> so excited, Mary Jo. Oh, that's exciting. Well, thank you. you. Congratulations. Awesome. You Can are the winner of the door prize. And um, Brian will box something up for you and send it out. Thank Yay. you. And of course, we'll probably talk yeah. about how we can help you get started. Yes. Okay. Is there a question? Jan, I will send you her address. I'll send you her address. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. I'll send you Mary Jo's address. Okay. That works. Good deal. Jim, are you sure you have the right one? I still haven't got those seals yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll call you on what I have. It's on your card, on your business card. Okay. Okay. And and um yeah, we'll connect. We'll connect. Oh, I'll get okay. I'll get all of her information as soon as you put her in the system. So, Thank you so we're gonna much. cheer her on. Whoop, 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 right? Okay. <laughs> you said a lot okay. of places you could have been, a lot of things you could have done, and you chose to be here with us tonight. Yay! <laughs> so thank you very much for taking part. If you have any questions or there's anything I can help you with, please don't hesitate to reach out. And um, I look forward to seeing you all next week. But let's make some things happen this week because yes. we can. Yes. Right? Because yes. we can. Have a great night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Do you need me to stay?